So how much does it really cost in 2023 to live in Saskatoon? Well, in this video, we're gonna break down the six things that I think you need to know, an honest approach to what it really would look like for your finances if you decided to make Saskatoon, Saskatchewan your home. My name's Scott Ziegler. I'm a local realtor here in Saskatoon and I love my city. And I wanna make sure before you move here, you know exactly what it's gonna cost you. Make sure to follow my social media channels. They're in the description below, as well as a link to my calendar if you wanna jump in, schedule a call if you have any questions or concerns about moving here. And also leave me a comment. Let me know where you're watching from and what the cost of living is in your city. I'm going to start with the big one housing, but stick around to point number four. And point number four, I'm going to give you a hack that's going to save you thousands of dollars. It's so good that when I did it myself, I thought it was too good to be true and I didn't believe it, but it's a game changer. So number one is housing. Saskatoon has some of the most affordable housing in the entire country. There's a stat that says if you're living in Toronto or Vancouver, you can buy five or six houses in Saskatoon for the price of one house in those major cities. The average sales price is 375,000, and that ranges anywhere from under $100,000 for a small condo to $200,000 for a townhouse condo or 200 to 400 if you want an apartment style condo, maybe something a little bit more upscale. You can get a semi-detached unit or a half a duplex for four or 500,000, again, depending on the quality. And then you can get single family homes as low as 250, 300,000. Of course, all the way up to a million. Right now, the highest recorded sales price on a home in Saskatoon is $3.2 million. Now, what about renting? Well, well, again, you can get a one bedroom apartment for under $1,000, a basement suite, a two bedroom basement suite for about $1,000. If you want to move up to a main floor of a house, you're somewhere in the neighborhood of $1,500, $1,700, depending on utilities. And then if you want to rent an entire home or an entire townhouse condo, you could be anywhere from $1,700 to $2,000. And then we do have executive rentals here for $2,500 to $3,500, where you can get quite an upscale home. So you can see that whether you're buying a home or renting, there's lots of options right from the low side right through to the high side. Now that you have a place to live, you got some utilities to pay. And we have the big three utilities. We have heat, power, and water. And then we're also gonna cover internet and cable if you want it, and what a cell phone bill might look like. So for heat here, which is powered by natural gas, you're anywhere from about $100 equalized month after month after month. So that way we equalize our payments so you don't have a 400 bill in the winter and a $20 bill in the summer. About $100 a month or $1,200 a year for heating here. When we look at power, you know, it really depends if you leave lights on all the time, like my wife does, or if you're good about turning the lights off, your power bill can range from anywhere from $120 to $150. And then we have water. Again, based on usage, you can have a water bill as low as 70 to about $100 a month, where if you take all three of those combined, you're in the neighborhood of $300 to $350 a month for your heat, your power, and your water. Now, to include some Wi-Fi or some internet, you can get your, your Wi-Fi for as low as about $80 a month if you wanna add a cable package to that, that's gonna creep up to 150 or even $200 a month. And then you should expect to pay anywhere between about 70 to $100 a month for your cell phone uh, with one of our local carriers, again, depending on the plan. Number three is food, entertainment, and groceries. Now, with inflation, we all know that the price of groceries has gone up. The stats can says that it's about $230 per person per month in Saskatchewan to, for groceries. So a family of four should be looking at somewhere of around $1,000 a month for groceries or closer to 500 if it's just a couple. Dining out, like everything else, is a little bit more expensive. Your average sit-down restaurant now is somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to $30. And of course, if you want the steak, you could easily be 50, 75, or $100 at some of the high-end restaurants. Here's a little trick for you. Saskatoon is known as a festival city. And there is lots of things that go on in our city for free for entertainment if you choose to look for them. Every month, no matter what month of the year it is, even in the winter, there's something happening in the city that you can attend for free. So your entertainment budget can be as low as a zero or as high as you want, depending on your own personal preference. All right, number four, we're talking insurance. 
and I told you I was going to give you a hack that was going to save you thousands, hold tight. Before we get there, I want to talk about car insurance. Car insurance anywhere between 80 to 120 a month, of course, depending on the vehicle you have. Saskatchewan's um, insurance is privatized, so that's why it's probably some of the cheapest in the country. Now, when we get to house insurance, comment below, tell me that you want the hack, and I'm gonna to reply to your comment and give it to you immediately. This hack saved me over 75% of my house insurance. So your average house, based on the average house price of insurance in Saskatoon, is about $2,400 a year or $200 a month. My insurance went from $2,600 all the way down to $650 with this hack that I've been sharing with everybody. It's legit. I even had to check it twice. Comment below. I'm going to give you the hack if you want it. Okay, number five is your transportation. So you can get a bus pass in Saskatoon for about $90 a month. That'll save you on gas and parking. If you choose to drive, again, like everything, the price of gas has gone up in 2023, it's gonna cost you about $100 per week for gas here. Of course, if you have a big truck, that's gonna cost you a little bit more, but that's what you can expect to commute around here. And again, remember our average commute time is only 17 minutes. So you can usually stretch your gas a little bit further if you try. And lastly, it's the worst thing to talk about. It's taxes. I'm gonna give you three different types of taxes and how they play out here in Saskatchewan. First, we have our HST or the combination of GST and PST. That's at 11% and it's actually the second cheapest in the whole country. So when you're buying goods and services, the tax is a little bit cheaper here. Our provincial income tax is pretty much middle of the road. Few provinces are slightly less by about 1%. A few provinces are slightly more by 1%. So we sit right in the middle on our provincial income tax. And then when we look at property taxes, Right now on your average sales price of $375,000, you're gonna have a property tax bill of about $220 a month. And of course, that's for all of the city services that the city provides for you. So that's your updated cost of living for 2023. If you wanna book into my calendar to learn more, click the link in the description. If you wanna follow me on other social media apps and wanna connect with me there, the link is in the description. And please, if there's anything in this world that I can do to serve you, as always, reach out to me because I'm just happy to help.